Breaking news! This man, Emmanuel Velikovsky, has come up with a new theory about the solar system. Velikovsky believes that the events that happened in the Old Testament occurred because of celestial bodies in space. The first passage from Exodus was dealing with the plagues in Egypt. Velikovsky believes the ten plagues that struck Egypt were caused by a comet that passed too close to the Earth. This comet eventually became the planet Venus, who Velikovsky believes was ejected from Jupiter. Here is an excerpt from Velikovsky's book. A celestial body that only shortly has become a member of the solar system. A new comet came very close to the Earth. The comet was on its way from its perihelion and touched the Earth first with its gaseous tail. One of the first visible signs of this encounter was the reddening of the Earth's surface by a fine dust of rusty pigment. In sea, lake, and river, this pigment gave a bloody coloring to the water. The second passage of the comet is from the Bible that was in Joshua. Fifty-two years later, the same comet returned again and passed close to the earth, and it caused a rain of meteorites, which were the huge stones in heaven, from Joshua 10:11. Earth's encounter with this comet caused the earth to go off of its regular rotation, causing the long day mentioned in Joshua. The third biblical text is from Isaiah and 2 Kings. 750 years after the comet came close to earth, several celestial events took place that changed space history. Based off of Velikovsky's work in 747 B.C. on February 26, in the days of King Uzziah of Judah, who was a biblical leader that took the place of his father to the throne in the book of Isaiah, a cosmic event brought an extraterrestrial agent, caused a disturbance in the motion of the earth on its axis and along its orbit. That made the original calendar of 360 days into the modern calendar of 365. Also, he believes when King Ahaz, the father of King Uzziah, who had died, was buried on that day, another celestial event took place and caused the Earth's axis to shift, thus delaying sunset by several hours. Once again, the same celestial event occurred again in the three days in the days of Hezekiah, son of Ahaz, and 13th king of Judah. All of these conspiracies prove these events in the Bible according to Velikovsky. Today we have a famous Old Testament scholar, Abigail Anderson, to prove her point that Velikovsky's theory is not true. Hello, I am Abigail Anderson, an Old Testament scholar, and I am here to prove my point of why Velikovsky's theory is not true. It is almost unbelievable that the planet Venus did not exist until 3,500 years ago. As an Old Testament scholar, it is hard for me to conceive that the plagues of Egypt were caused by a comet passing close to the Earth about 1500 BC. Velikovsky proves his theory by using cosmological myths from Egypt, Greece, Rome, India, China, Mexico, and Babylon. These myths and Jewish legends are used to prove that Earth came into contact with Venus and its catastrophic event is behind the narrative of the plagues in the books of Exodus. To me, Velikovsky's theory is more than science and more than theology. His book is a work of comparative mythology that uses philosophy, theology, archaeology, and a bit of psychology to defend and to prove the reliability of the biblical text. Velikovsky has an impressive collection of ancient written documents that he uses to prove his argument. It is possible that Velikovsky is right and that scientists, astronomers, biblical scholars, and many theologians are wrong, but I doubt it. So whose side do you choose? And there you have it on Velikovsky's theory, breaking news. Good night.